You yourself, let me ask you, like as a comic, did you experience resistance to getting, say, up on front of people or in the writing of the material? Or yeah, was, you kind of was re- that an area where you could relate to it? Yes, it all the, the all the above. You could, you know, you experience resistance and like, oh, I want to take a day off. You know, like, oh, I don't feel like going up today. Like, I know a lot of comics are really good comics and they're always canceling, like, well, like, there's work and then there's spots, okay? So the spots are important because the spots are what get you better, tighten your material, and how you create new material. They now, keep are you spots sharp. when you actually perform? Is that what a spot yes. is? Okay. So this is what I mean. Um... A spot is, say, if you're going to go to the comedy store, and uh, on, on regular night in the comedy store, there might be 15 comedians, and each one of them is doing 15 minutes. So there's just, it's a long running show. It starts from 8 p.m., it goes on all night. When you're doing that, that's a spot. It doesn't mm-hmm. pay very well. I think it pays like $50. Uh-huh. So you just go down there, and it's really. There's a lot of camaraderie. We're all hanging around uh-huh. with each other and joking around in the parking lot and in the hallway. And uh, you're really just trying to stay sharp and work on new material. And you might, in the comedy store, has three rooms there's the belly room that seats about 70 to 90 people, there's the main room that seats about 400 plus people, and then there's the original room that seats, I think it seats about 170. And you do shows in each room, like people do spots, like sometimes people do three spots a night. So those are those don't pay well, but that's th- those are the ones people cancel. So like uh, a lot of comedians, uh, they're like, oh, I don't feel like going up. Uh-huh. And they'll call in the store, I'm canceling, I'm going to cancel, uh-huh. I'm not feeling well, I'll cancel. And it's really just resistance. It's this thing that keeps you from showing up. But the resistance for writing is way stronger. That's really that's strong. the work that that's you're talking about. The spot and, a, and then the work. Yeah, well, wow. no, no, the work. Wor- spots are short sets that you do in town. Work is when you're on the road. So oh. the work is so like say if you do a weekend at a comedy club. Now that pays well. That's where m- the majority of comedians make their living is doing weekends on the road or maybe even weekdays uh-huh. on the road. So then you're doing a show, and can, the idea is that you've crafted all this material on your own in writing, and then in front of the crowd, doing spots, and you know, and and doing it around town. And then when you go on the road, then you have a show to put on, and that's that's work. What's interesting to me here's my question: When do you actually sit down and write? The, the thing for me it's two times it's either late at night when everyone's asleep in my house or it's lately it's been in the morning lately i've been doing it first thing in the morning and uh there's i don't know sometimes i have my best ideas first thing in the morning for some reason and like i i can't quite imagine what is it like do you have like a theme that you think is funny that you're going to no. work on no i just sit in front of the computer and write about subjects I just have like essays. See, I used to try to just write jokes, but it seemed too limiting creatively. Like, uh, like the format is so limited that I was missing out on some ideas. And so then I started writing blog posts. And one of the things that I realized in blog, when I write blog, which is essentially essays, is that I could extract good ideas from those essays, and those would become my bits. Mm-hmm. And so now that's how I write. When I write, I just sit down and I just like uh, like a, a write like I'm doing this idea about riots lately, riots and protests. Uh-huh. And so I just start writing about riots and protests, and I'm just writing. And then I'm writing about what kind of people go and what you know what motivates someone to put a buffalo hat on and try to break into the Capitol. Uh-huh. And uh, and as I'm writing, then I'll go. That's a that's a chunk, uh-huh. and I'll take that. And I'll pull uh-huh. it out, and I'll copy and paste it in another folder uh-huh. or another another um, file. And then I'll go on stage and try to like give those life. And so then I take those and I try to figure out the best way to present them. And oftentimes, like you think you have it right, but then you go in front of the crowd and they don't think it's funny. Or they think the setup is funny, but the punchline sucks. It's, uh-huh. it's weird. Uh-huh. Or they think, 
uh, you know, they maybe they the way they laugh makes you think there's another layer to this, and you come up with more stuff on the fly. Uh huh. So you really create in front of them as well as by yourself. You need them, like. The, you know, you can't create comedy in a vacuum. You, you really need an audience. What What's the feeling like when you're on stage? Are Are you scared? Is it fun? Is no, it, it's fun. It's, a, it's uh -huh. fun. I mean, it would be scary if I hadn't done it a lot. It was definitely scary when I first started doing it. But now it's fun. It's just fun. Like, they're all paying to see you. They're, it's fun. Uh -huh. It's a good time. Uh -huh. As long as you've done the work. That's, you know, as long as you're prepared. It shouldn't be scary. It should uh -huh. be really a good time. You're there to make them laugh. Ah, you know, but it's uh, but I've also been doing it thirty three uh -huh. years, you know, thirty four years. It's a long ass time. I mean, mm -hmm. I know that 